Hello YouTube and welcome to another SQL Server uh, tutorial. So in this video I'll show you how to create a simple SQL Server database. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my last video I showed you how to install SQL Server on Windows 2019. But in this video I'll show you how to create actually uh, a database. So first thing first we have to launch our uh, SQL Server Management Tool or Studio. Here we go. So the SQL Server Management Studio is launching now. So here I'm using version 18. So I'm also using Windows Authentication because I'm logging to a domain actually. So let's connect to our SQL Server instance. So as you can see here on the left, we have a couple of folders, but the most important one in order to create a database is the databases folder. So if you expand actually this folder, you will just find some system databases and also snapshot, but that's not interesting. So for us, in order to create SQL Server uh, new database, all you have to do is to right click on this uh, databases folder here and you get here a menu. So we have to create this uh, new database or to choose this new database menu. So I click on it and here we go. Now I can actually create my data base so for the name you can choose whatever you want so let's keep with the very famous example database will you will find in almost all the Microsoft uh, actually product it's called Acme okay so let's use this name as an example of our database and here is here under this table you will find the database files so actually there are two files the acme actually database file and the acme log database also file so here you can see the initial size okay and also the most important thing is the path where actually those files will reside so normally you will choose to put them in another disk in order to get more performance and also for ease backup of these files because those files are really very important and you want to restore uh, your database okay so here our stick with the default so in order just to see what will happen huh? okay so you will actually hit OK button in order to create the Acme database. So I will just hit OK and our database as you can see here has been created. So let's expand actually this uh, Acme database. Here we go. So also as you can see here we have a couple of folders. So the most interesting folder is the table folder of course because you know a database actually is a set of tables and also views uh, functions but here in order to get started we'll create a table okay so in order to create a table so by default you can see here we have some system tables some file tables some external tables some graph tables but we didn't create our own table so let's say that we want to create a table which consists of actually a couple of uh, rows and columns and also data. So in order to create our first table, we'll use the same trick as we have done in order to create a database is actually to right click on this folder tables. And here we go. We can choose new table. Here we go. So nothing here fancy, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So here we have actually to create column name, data type, and also 
to choose if we allow nulls or not. So let's create our first column name. So I will stick with something very basic. So for example, first name. Okay. First name. Here we go for the data, pay, uh, data type. I'll choose varkar. Just 50 if you want. Yeah, it's enough. And here we choose if we allow null or not. Okay, so I will here choose allow null, doesn't interest. So I will add another column, for example, last name. Okay. Also, varkar15. Here we go. Then I can choose the city. varkar50. Okay. And for zip calls, I have to choose or actually to change the data type. So for the zip code, I have to choose integer because it's not a car, but it's integer. And at last, let's add an email, for example. Okay. And for the email, I will choose var car also 50 so this is just a simple uh, table here so as you can see we didn't give a name to our table yet so in order to give it a name so there are a couple of things but you can just hit this cross or close this uh, tab here and here you will get a confirmation uh, dialog if you want to save the table or not so I will just hit yes and here you can enter the name of your table so I'll choose as name let's just make it simple employee okay and I will hit okay so now if you go to your table if you refresh your table you can see here that a table called employee has been created but if we go inside this uh, table we didn't actually create some data into it so let's create some data in order to populate this employee table so in order to do that it's pretty easy right click on the employee and you choose edit top 200 rows okay and here we go we have this uh, tabular table where we can enter our data so for example for the first name I will just choose John Smith and you can navigate using the tab key okay John Smith okay so you can see here this exclamation red which means the data has not been saved yet okay so you can change it but actually the data isn't saved yet Okay, so I'll choose the city here, New York City, for example. The zip code, you can choose whatever you want. I don't know the zip code of New York. And email, let's just keep something simple. John Smith at gmail.com, for example. Gmail dot. Here we go and I will hit enter and now I am on the second row okay so I can populate it with something else for example Sarah Connor for example for the city I will choose uh, let's say uh, LA or LA yes zip code just make it something simple and Sarah O'Connor and for I'll choose here hotmail for example dot com and also you can use the tab 
key in order to get to the next row. So you can see here in order to enter data, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Okay. And when you are done, you can just close this tab. So if you want to see your data, also pretty easy. You just right click on your table and select the top. 1000 rows but as you can see we have only two rows so this is the query actually so we'll see that in the next video how we can create queries using sql language but the result is the most interesting part for us you can see here that we have our results because we have created our table and we get our two rows so the first one john smith which lives in new york city and we have all the data here and second row contains sarah connor which lives in la and we have the correspondent data so as you can see it was pretty straightforward pretty easy in order to create a database and also a table and enter some basic data and get the result so that was just a brief introduction how you can use actually or create a database sql server database with just using the wizard as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye